Hey, what's up, everybody? Scopey here. And I want to make a little video about uh, uh, keeps. Keep. Keeps. Keep. <laughs> Funny. But hey, if you don't know, you know what I mean? You don't know. You know, if you. Anyway, uh, before you have a keep, you have to have a pre-keep. And, and I could probably go act, walk up to a hundred people that raise game file and ask them what the pre-keep is. And they say that's when you, you get in your, Bruce is ready for the show. <clears throat> so, um, which, you know, that's, that's a pre-keep according to everybody. Most people. Not everybody. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. I hate when that happens. <laughs> but anyway, uh, the, the pre-keep, the pre-keep is the way you know, like I said, man, I I had a cock house, fly pins, all of that, work table, all of that, and it, you know, I, I met Grady Fields and and all of that. But anyway, um, he he taught me what a pre keep and a keep was. The pre keep is. Um, when you when you start locking up your stags, pinning up your stags, that's when the pre keep starts. And um, that's that's really actually that's when you do your most culling. You know, just like what people what people most people think the pre keep is when you go out there and you select. You know, and you select more than, than, you know, what the show calls for because it's a pre-keep. <laughs> and you might throw this one out, that one out, you know, until you narrow it down to the ones that are going actually in the keep. So really, the, the, when you start locking up your stags, that's when the pre-keep starts. Pinning them up, putting them on strings, whatever. You see something that you don't like, <laughs> don't feed them no more. <laughs> okay, that's enough of the pre-keep. Now, if the ones that make it to the molt and molt out and start growing their feathers back, um, now generally speaking, Speaking, I'm talking about generally. I know people, it's different climates everywhere and everything, but generally, just like all birds, all nature, everything follows in suit. It's the way they, chickens, they ain't no, ain't no difference with chickens. So generally speaking, At the end of January, middle of January, end of January, is when a chicken is fully out the moat. Fully out the moat. And then it actually takes 30 days for his feathers to get hard, which is generally speaking, February. So, um, because you take care of all your chickens, pretty much all your showcocks, or you, some people take care of their showcocks different than they do their brood stock, and which I mean I could understand that. But but generally speaking, when your last rooster comes out the moat, your last rooster comes out the moat. That's when the keep starts. That's when the keep starts. 
I mean, you've been, you still worm, you still worm them, and with Valbazin and give them the lime mixture on schedule every 10 days. And then when your, uh, your last rooster comes out the moat, which will probably be somewhere around the end of January, the beginning of February, that's when you keep starts. That's when you start, um, you give them vitamins in the water every, I mean, uh, 30 days straight, vitamins in the water. His feathers are going to get hard no matter what, but um, you give them vitamins in the water and you move them every three days from when your last show cock comes out the moat. And then, which is the beginning of March, that's when you start selecting your shows. Like I said, um, I mean, if you want to put them in fly pens after that, if, if <laughs> you ain't, <laughs> man, you ain't going to need no fly pens. You, you're not going to need no special point method. <laughs> that's, that's pointing, that's a joke too. But anyway, uh, <laughs> um, that point and all of that you know what you're playing rock paper scissors game that's another whole video about playing rock paper scissors if you just um keep him healthy mentally conditioned and um just let him know he's a warrior move him around and build him up and grab him by the tail let him kind of hit at each other and all of that every few days <laughs> He'll let you know. You go out there and he'll be like, yep, load him up. But anyway, uh, hey, I hope y'all have.